All right. First angel, happy birthday. Thank you. How, how young are you? I'm 86 years young. Today? Today. You were born right here in Seligman, Arizona? One block south of here on old Route 66. Wow. What am I sitting in? Give us this, the uh, story of this chair. You're sitting on the chair that my father is self-taught barber. Self-taught barber. Bought April 10th, 1926 for $194, and I can show you the invoice. $194 back then would be what today, do you think? Not a pocket full of money, two pockets full of money. And haircuts must have been 20 or 25 cents. Wow, and, and then you came along. Now, your father was self-taught. You went to school. After graduation in 47, I went to Barber College in Pasadena, California, July the 7th, 1947. And then you took over the chair? No. Then I passed the apprentice barber board test in Phoenix. Then went looking for a job, and I finally landed a job as an apprentice in Williams, Arizona. I served my apprentice in Williams, Arizona for two years. Then I had to take the master barber test in Phoenix, and I passed that. Then on May the 22nd, 1950, at 9 o'clock, I opened my dad's old pool hall and barber shop. He went broke during the Depression. And you cut hair for how, for how long? In Seligman, I've been cutting hair for just 63 years, that's all. And you still, and you still kind of do it every, every now and then when a tour guest comes by, right? I semi-retired when I was 70. So I do public relations, haircuts, and shaves. Public, public relations, I like that. Public one. relations for haircuts and shaves for anyone that doesn't live in Seligman. Okay, now, next week is what? Uh, What's happening next week? Or well, is on the May the 3rd, May the 3rd, we will be having our 26th annual three-day celebration. We call it the Fun Run. And what is that? That is a celebration that we, the Historic Route 66 Association, put on April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th to tell the world that Route 66 was not lost, that it was here. We signed up 153 car owners. It started here on Friday with a Miss Pageant to see who was going to be Miss Route 66. We fed 600 people at the gym here in Seligman. We had to turn people away. We invited Bobby Troop, the man that wrote the words to get your kicks on Route 66. We invited Will Rogers Jr. And we invited the governor then, Rosie Mofford. She cut the ribbon at 10 o'clock. The Delgadillo Orchestra made money, uh, made uh, music that night. Made money and music or just music? Just music. Okay, right. We made music at the gym and uh, the celebration started. It was just going to be a, a celebration for 1988, April. Uh, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, just to tell the world about it. And like I say, we signed up 153 car owners. But before we turned them loose at 10 o'clock Saturday, the following day, 23rd, we were asked, is this going to be an annual affair? affair? They asked me, and then they also asked my first treasure Jerry Richards, super dynamic contributor, he told me, Angel, what did you say when they asked you that? I says, I said, yes, what did you say? Jerry said, yes. So it became an annual event that starts here on Friday, once a year, and it ends in, at the Arizona-California border three days later. Now, last year you had 900 cars registered. How many do you think showed up? I, th I think we had 845 
people that literally came to the show, but there was probably 200 more that didn't register with us. Cool. Did you see it being this this big? Did you ever ever go, wow, this is this is it? Not by the stretch of my imagination, no way. It was just uh, after all these years have gone by and talking to people from every walks of life, from worldwide countries, it seems like the world was waiting for something like this to happen. I tell you this wholeheartedly because I have to repeat, I get to talk to people from all over the world and the world is looking for the slower way of life and Seligman and Ralph 66 is definitely the slower way of life and Seligman is definitely a community in America of yesterday. Well, I can tell you as a tour professional, I, when my guests find out that we're going to be on Route 66 or we're going to be near it, they ask us, are we going to stop here? And I got guests from all over the world. I take them up to the Grand Canyon and they don't talk about the Grand Canyon. They talk about stopping here. Okay. Now, final question before we uh, turn you loose and, and they have your birthday celebration here. This is a family run business. Who's all behind the counters on an average day? If a tour guide was to come in here, who would they see here? They would see Mirna, my daughter, who about 16 years ago saw that Vilma and I, my wife, we managed the store. It was much. Really quick pause. How long have you been married? 54 years. Congratulations. Okay. May the 11th. Next month will be 54 years. God bless you. Okay. So you got Mirna. You have your son-in-law back there. Mirna is back there. Then my daughter, my other daughter, Clarissa, and her husband, Mauricio. Then my two nieces, one from my brother, Augustine, and one from my brother, Juan, uh, Francie and Kayla. Then the, they will also deal with uh, Ashley, who we, she works for us. Sandy, I mean Sandy, and uh, Lexi, and uh, Nicole. Cool, cool. And the coffee's always on. The coffee's free right there. Yes. Come on in, take some photos, put your business card up up here on the wall. It, if Angela's here, say hi to him. Uh, Angel, happy birthday, and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, and stay healthy and happy. We will. Thank you.